How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Lenovo IdeaPad 514 2021. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 10.7 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Put the laptop upside down and prepare a T5 screwdriver. There are 7 screws on the bottom cover. Note that the 3 screws at the top are captive screws, which only need to be loosened. The 4 screws at the bottom are fixed screws that need to be fully removed. It's a good idea to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing up or losing the screws. Pair a suction cup and make sure the back of the laptop is clean. Attach the suction cup to the lower right corner of the bottom cover and pull it upwards with force to pry open the gap. If it doesn't work the first time, try again. Do the same for the lower left corner. Now you can remove the bottom cover. Prepare a spudger and use it to disconnect the power cable. Push the spudger on both sides of the connector to pull it out. After removing the power, remember to press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the three screws on the thermal module in numerical order. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Carefully remove the wireless card cable from the thermal fan's cable management slot. Slowly lift both sides of the heatsink with your hands to remove it. Disconnect the thermal fan power cable and remove the fan's lower left cable. Pry up the clip on the connector and gently pull the cable out. Remove the two screws securing the thermal fan and take the fan out. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. The anti-static brush is used to clean the dust from the fan blades and the thermal module. When using compressed air, keep a small distance to avoid liquid spray. Compressed air can help clean fine details and significantly improve the cleaning efficiency. After cleaning, don't forget to remove the dust from the backplate.
Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold 01 high performance thermal paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Now, reassemble the laptop in reverse order. Gently place the thermal module back. Insert the fan and secure it with the screws. Reconnect the fan's lower left cable. Tighten the screws on the thermal module in numerical order until they are snug, but not too tight to avoid excessive pressure. Place the surrounding cables back into the cable management slot. Reconnect the fan power cable. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard. Attach the bottom cover, snap it into place, and press the power button to check if everything is working. Tighten all the screws on the bottom cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.